Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Uncle Matt here, September 10th, 2022. After a morning of standing out in the rain watching youth soccer players play, I am now making my way to Geodis Park to watch the professionals do it. For the first time ever, LA Galaxy is coming to Nashville. Chicharito, good guy, I like that guy. Okay, now we're foggy. Exciting match, Galaxy coming to town for the first time. They're one of the stalwarts, one of the old guards of the MLS. The MLS? Traditionally known for bringing in their big stars. We've had Beckham, we've had Zlatan, we've had a completely washed Steven Gerrard. But despite my history with Chicharito, my appreciation for him as a Manchester United player, it's all for the boys in gold today. Huge match. Race for the playoffs is on. We've managed to somewhat nestle our way back into potentially being in the mix for a home playoff game. But a match like this, you got to get a result today if that's what you want. So let's get to Geotis. Just makes me a little nervous about going to the stadium if there's ghosts in the building. But there is Geotis Park. We are almost there. I think the match is about to start. We're running a little late today. One more match where we survive the death march up the stairs. All right, since we missed kickoff, let's grab a bite to eat. And now that we've been through all the local vendors, we can check out some of the food. Booths that I've been wanting to check out. All right, these gyros have been calling all my, my name all season. Let's see how they are. Still nil nil? Here is our gyro. We'll see how this thing is. Don't have a piece. Our gyro. You know, it's special about being how often you get a gyro at like a stadium, so it's pretty good. Go down, hey. There's a little peep. The BRA, BAR check going on. Assuming this must be a VAR check for a penalty for us because their keeper's got the ball right now. They seem to be the ones protesting the most. Shout out the supporter section. It is packed and rocking today. Penalty kick to Nashville FC. You know who's taking it. You know it. All right, so if you were confused by the angle I shot the penalty from, quick update on the game status today. The people I usually come to the games with last minute decided not to go and they sold their two tickets, which are the aisle seats for like 20 bucks online, whatever, no big deal. I have seat three in my aisle. I didn't want to be sandwiched between a bunch of strangers. So I thought, let me jump on the app real quick, see if there's any club seats available for a reasonable price. I grabbed a club seat for 40 bucks and now I'm in the Los Siento Club. First time I've been in here and this place is awesome. If I upgrade the club, this is the one I want to upgrade to. I mean, look at this place. It's like already the best sports bar in Nashville. And everything's complimentary. I can even just watch the Jumbotron right here from my seat that I've occupied. I might not even go down to the seat I bought. I might just not sit in here and take advantage of all the uh, all-inclusive options. So in addition to the sports bar set up with the TVs, We've got, why can't I remember what this is called? I don't remember what this is called, but it's here. There's a foosball table over there. Football over there. What just happened? 
Inside. Yeah, this club's pretty sick. Wish I hadn't bought that gyro before I made this decision, but let's see what they got. They got some uh, hot dog and sauerkraut, ham and cheese wraps. Grilled onions, barbecue cheddar pork sausage, peppers and onions beer, braised sausage. A lot of sausage over here and some rice. Huh. Sweet potato salad, broccoli salad, charcuterie boards, a little bit of pizza pie. This is the gold mine. Popcorn. And then we got all the vegan stuff over here. Hmm. We're gonna have some of that popcorn before the day's over. Got some random candy bowls in here too that appears to be like uh, all dum-dums. Really putting a little pressure on. Cheech! Blocked! Blocked. Zimmerman's got Chicharito in his pocket all day. Not bad for 40 bucks. Benches are right there. I'm going to have the squads walking out here any minute now for the second half. I think I made the right decision here. You see straight across the way, there's the keep you up game that we usually watch from our seats. They're about right there. So I'm pretty much exactly across from where I normally would be. Congratulations. Move up the lads. Let's go, Joe. They're very tall. Chicharito. He really beefed up since he left United. He was like a tiny little boy. He was a little pee, and now he's like a one big muscle. All right, Gary, let's go. Bench is like right here for my seats. There's Luke Hackinson. Dax right there. I know that guy. 40 bucks. Forty bucks. Not a terrible deal. As a referee, I think I'm going to uh, enjoy being behind the AR here. I'm going to be able to get his point of view, assess his performance, and uh, learn if there's anything I can take away from it. How is this allowed in the stadium? This seems like a safety hazard. Am I wrong? Very nice showing from the Galaxy supporters, but I mean... You can expect this from the uh, Yankees of MLS. All right, for reference, this is uh, club section CO2. So if you're looking to be right by the bench, CO1 is where you want to try to find seats. Free kick the galaxy here. So let's not give anything up. <laughs> Galaxy's been awarded a penalty here. Didn't look much in live action, but I'm sure VR is taking a look at it. Doubt they'll overturn it, especially with us having already gotten a penalty in this match, and Chicharito is a global star. We'll see if he's cheeky enough to try a Paneca again. Meanwhile, Dax and Teal have been summoned. View of the Jumbotron from in here if you want to come in for a bite to eat and a drink. It actually isn't the uh, Los Siento Club, it's the G Oh, we're in trouble. Also known as the Goalpost Club. I think that's the official name of this one. This is the one I want to join. Somebody get me in the Goalpost Club, please. Sign me up. This man right here is the hero of the hour. 
I need more information about this loge seating area because it looks like you get your own seats and there's like a cooler there too. Somebody share with me how to get into these seats. Get the time added on. There's a goal of the line. Chris Pinto seems to be working against us since he gave that penalty earlier. A ridiculous call just now with a foul on we will. Nashville SC and LA Galaxy's 1-1 draw at Geodis Park. Disappointing result for Nashville SC. It's weird because like a month ago, I would have taken this draw any day of the week, but we've been on such a good run of form that it's like hard to like settle for the draw, especially when it kind of feels like it was snatched away from us. I don't want to criticize the referees too much. I'm a referee myself, but I felt like a lot of calls were going towards LA Galaxy the last few minutes. The penalty, from what I've heard, I haven't seen the replay of it yet. The penalty, from what I've heard, was a pretty clear cut penalty for Handball and Zimmerman. But how was there no added time after the penalty? The game was ongoing. Things were, you know, clearly Chris Penzo hadn't decided to end the game yet. And then there's about a seven to eight minute stoppage of stop the game, review. Go over, give Zimmerman the yellow card, give Zimmerman the red card, bring everybody over, do the penalty, blah, 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 blah. It's about a 
maybe even an eight to 10 minute stoppage. And then as soon as the penalty goes in the net, Chris Benz is like, treat, 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 that's the end of the match. There has to be at least one to two minutes more after that. I, I don't understand that. That's that's weird to me. That is very weird to me. And this is one of those things where I feel like we should completely disassociate referees from the leagues they work with. Everybody wants to say like, oh, let's make the referees full-time positions. It's like, like, that's great. I think that should be done too. But at the same time, when the referees are technically employed by the leagues it gets a little complicated like you're all the tim donahy stories the tim donahy the nba referee who fixed games how he's like i didn't really fix games i was told by certain people to just like call a few more fouls this way or tighten up here tighten up here and you watch the nfl and like supposedly you're actually hearing stories where they're telling the referees point of emphasis is to call more on the uh what's the word they're using the uh illegal contact like that's the league actually manipulating calls like whether they want to come out and say it or not if a league is telling referees what they want to see more calls of if a league is doing anything that influences the way the referees call a match that's influence thing and i i don't want to say that chris benzo was influenced to make sure the biggest most well-known team in all of mls got a result today, got points on a road game to make sure that they didn't fall out of playoff position. I don't want to say that. But the fact that MLS pro referee is all a little kind of like too intertwined, like, I'm not saying, I'm just saying. I don't think Chris Penzo would do anything untoward, but if his superiors are telling him he needs to look for certain things, he needs to call certain things. He needs to do certain things in the match. Take that for what it is. The only reason I've ever stopped a match when I'm refereeing immediately after something like a penalty kick is I want to get it out of that match. Either it's a blowout and we don't need to keep going or tensions are too high and we just need to get off the field before anything else happens. But to have like an eight minute delay for a review, then a penalty, sending off, let the penalty happen, and then go tweet your tweet, that's the end of the match. A little weird to me, just a little weird to me. That I, you know, it's weird. It is what it is, you know, like I said, a month ago, if we got a point in this match, I would have taken it. I'd been like, great, we got a point off of Galaxy, let's keep rolling. The Yankees of the MLS that everybody's gonna Give favoritism to well, let's say that. Huh. <laughs> Craziest thing that I learned today was that there's only one more home MLS match left. We have two actually technical home matches left at Geos Park. We've got the uh, leagues, uh, nations match. I don't remember what they're calling it anymore. But we're playing Club America on September 21st, and then we have one last home game in MLS against Houston on October 2nd. That caught me off guard. So only, you know. Well, if we make the playoffs and we get a home game, that'd be great. But for a regular season, for this technical regular season, what we know we have right now, two more home games to go, two more Geodis Park vlogs to go. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss either of those. I'm going to the Titans game tomorrow, so if you're into the Titans, there will be a vlog from that game too, so subscribe for that as well. Thank you for watching. It, it, Chris Penzo, if you see this video, I, I don't want to... I don't want you to think I'm accusing you of doing anything wrong. I think, you know, if anything, you know, you were following directives. So, you, you called a pretty good game. There were some weird calls that I assume were put into your ear by somebody else. But maybe not. But maybe not. You're a good guy. Good on you. Come on, you boys and gold. This uh, setup here, this hat, this jersey... It's still unbeaten, even though we had to settle for the draw today. So do go to club, though. If you're looking to go to a Nashville C game, if, never, if you've never been to a match before, buy club seats. I mean, that's the best value in all of sports is club seats at Nashville C, Geodos Park. That's my last recommendation. Wrap it up there. We'll see you tomorrow for the Titans vlog. Or not. Are you going to be there, Oli? Oli said he's not coming. Bonus content, I don't know if this is, you know, 
the best angle or not, but as I was editing the video and saw the Zimmerman handball, what? It's here. There's no motion of hand to ball. I mean, I haven't seen our handball. I haven't seen the one that we were given. I don't know. He'd already given a penalty against us, so I don't know that there was a need for a makeup call late. But, I mean, from what I saw in the replay, from my video footage, to not only go to video review, give that as a penalty, and then also give it as a second yellow and a red to Walker, holy cow. I was very apologetic and, you know, kind of like, you know, that happened. You know, I was more about the no time added on. But when I saw the replay and zoomed in on what happened... That's not a penalty for me, bro. I don't I don't know what our first one was. I completely missed our first penalty, so can't judge what he gave the first one, can't judge what he gave the second one, but like look at the laws of the game. If your hands down here and the ball hits you from like somebody a foot away from you, maybe I'm misinterpreting them, but to me that's not a penalty. Now I'm kind of mad. All right, so just to wrap it up on not such a negative note, I didn't feel it was important to disclose something that the first ever MLS jersey I ever purchased was this here LA Galaxy strip with David Beckham on it. But just to counteract that and Get rid of the galaxiness. The latest jersey I have purchased is this bad boy right here. With once again the name on the back. So do with that what you will. Come on, you boys and gold.